Hey what's up everyone, my name is Thijs and welcome to Dual Wielded. This is part 4 of my devlog series where I make a Cold War era platform game where you dig for titanium with permadeath and randomly generated levels. That sentence was randomly generated by a game idea generator. First I'd like to announce that the game now officially has a name. Minecraft 2. No it's actually in cave. You play as a Russian guy in the aftermath of a fictional cold war where nukes were actually dropped, so people started living in caves and digging entire cave systems. After a long time, without a lot of food and water and any sunlight, people start getting offensive and with some parts of the always expanding cave system being exposed to more radiation from outside than other parts, maybe there are some mutated, aggressive animals here and there as well. Now pretty much none of this except the Russian dude and the cave is actually a thing yet, but for this devlog I wanted to focus on item usage and the inventory system. So of course the most important things to start off with is to have some actual functionality in picking up items and being able to store them and to being a- Psych I made an animation again you thought I'd actually be responsible when it comes to adding mechanics for once? Do you, do you know who I am? Okay I'll start working on it right now. Whenever you press tap, or should I say <laughs> tap tap, the character always turns to the right, so that way when he takes off his backpack it will always make sense that the player is on the left of the backpack, meaning that the inventory of the backpack will be on the right of the screen, and the lantern will always appear in the front of the backpack, which I think is just a nice touch. So I made a couple of inventory UI designs and asked my Discord, linked in the description, which one they thought was best. The white one fits the theme of the hearts and stamina bar better, but the backpack one fitted the theme of being a backpack better. The results were mixed. Great. So I personally chose for the backpack one. I think it fits the feeling of realism a bit better and the items themselves won't be white outlined, so I think that would just look a little weird. By the way, the layout of the inventory, this is a melee weapon slot, ranged weapon slot, these are usable item slots and there's two passive item slots. This is looking pretty nice already, but the individual slots still need some mouse detection and give visual feedback, so that's actually what I did. So I made these rubbish piles the player can dig through to find some items. I'm not entirely sure yet if each type of item should have a type of rubbish pile, like how rubbish piles containing passive items are bigger and use a lot of red in them or something. At least what I want to do is that every single pile of rubbish contains an item. I just made it this way so that you can't tell what the item is until you walk over it. Which, I mean, right now I still have no idea what to f- But I can press E. There's now a can of meat in my inventory. I also made 5 different food item sprites. I wanted these to be accurate for the situation. The food should be able to survive in those cave systems as well. And it should make sense for the time and place. I found this research paper on Soviet army rations and I found this very educational video about the Russian military's MRE by crazy Russian, Russian hacker. So the items ended up being... Tushonka. Kasha, Fasholis, Hotdog, and Pashted. Mmm, I love myself some Pashted. What about you, man? Awesome, I love Pashted, super excited. Yeah, I mean, I figured. I, I, I kind of like it as well, but not as much. I didn't need to stop with the spoon. Oh, okay, man. I, I mean, mm, wow. <laughs> Mm. So the next thing I did was design a pop-up menu that would appear when you click an item in your inventory. I really love the Dark Souls games and especially the storytelling, where there's not even that much dialogue but the story is told through the world, the events, mysteries and subtle clues into those mysteries. And last but not least, through the items. You see, each item has an item description that not only tells the item's name and what it does, but also gives background information about them, its usage in the world and more about the characters that have wielded them before. That's also the kind of storytelling I want this game to have. It really fits the game's setting as well. A big theme of the game is isolation. You don't know what's going on out there most of the time and you don't even know what's going on 5 meters ahead of you. And that's 16.4 uh, feet for all you insane people out there. But there's so much mystery to the cave system and what's outside that I think discovering aftermaths of events Random radio transmitters and items that are described by the player's character in a notebook kind of way are the best way of telling this story. So when you click an item this pop-up menu pops up, where the player can use an item, for instance with the food items you can heal one heart. Mm, wow. You can also drop the items, which right now just fully deletes the item, but I think I want the player to be able to pick it back up from the ground again. And like I said you can also read item descriptions, like how Kasha is a can of buckwheat grain, and Tushonka is some canned stewed meat, and it can be preserved in almost any situation, that's why it used to be part of- So after I fixed that problem, uh, the, the problem was fixed, <laughs> I, I really 
don't know what I wanted to say here. Okay, so the only thing left to do is the piles of rubbish showing that there's an actual item still in there. Since I don't want the piles to be destroyed after the player picks up the item that can be found in that pile. So now there's this arrow showing that there's something in here. And when you come close enough for the character to actually find out what's in there, the arrow turns into a frame in which the player will be able to see what they can pick up. Currently the items box is empty since I haven't implemented it yet. So it looks like my dude is just posing for a school photo. And after changing up the way the item randomizer works, since now the rubbish pile itself should figure it out instead of the item when it's placed in the inventory. Not gonna lie, no idea why I made it like that in the first place, but now it works. And that's it for this devlog. Now that there's an inventory system, I'd like to hear your ideas for items. Especially usable items, because so far I could think of healing items, stronger healing items. Leave your ideas in the comments or in the in-cave channel in my discord server. Also, to switch things up and keep things interesting, I'll be focusing on combat for the next devlog. Thanks a lot for watching this one and I'll see you in two years. Oh my god, he took my Wii as well, what the fuck?